Hi everybody, hope you're well. This video was requested by Little Pixie. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how to design the best courses for your EC in order to get higher prestige and get horses winning rosettes in them. So one of the first things I'm going to mention is that whenever you're designing courses for your EC, you need to be aware of what the best horses on your particular server are. So you'll need to go and look at the best horses on the game and you're going to need to see what their skills are because each competition has a primary skill which affects how difficult it's going to be. So for example, stamina is going to affect um, cross country. So if we were doing cross country competitions, then we're going to be wanting to set a difficulty that is in within there, in that range of whatever horses are on the server. So say for example, the horses on the server were the, the, the top skill, okay, for stamina say on the server was 600 in stamina, okay? If I went and created a cross country course that was 706 to 1000 something, no horses could enter that. Um, unless maybe there was some divine. So I would have essentially be making it impossible for anybody to run the competition. So one of the things to bear in mind is to design competitions that are suitable for the top horses. If you're looking to have top running prestige, but don't set it so high that the horses can't actually enter it. So once you go and you have a look and you say, okay, right, well, some of the top horses on the game are around this, you know, around, let's say, 1,100, okay? So you may decide, right, I want to allow the top 50 horses in stamina the ability to enter my competition, okay? So if we did that, we'd be looking here and going, okay, well, that's around 1,141 in stamina. So then whenever we go to set up the cross-country competition, we want to get horses around that. Um, so what I'm going to talk about now is... Some of these competitions, um, such as the races, the races um, like Gallop and Trot, for example, and in Western, ones such as uh, Western Pleasure are very easy to set up because you just have to go in and select orders and the difficulty changes here. This is the difficulty of the course. And those are very easy to set up, they're not difficult. But it gets a little bit more complex whenever you start to work with things like reining, where you get these kind of interfaces or with trail as well, and you start to get this stuff. But I'm going to explain this. So whether you look at reining or trail or dressage, for example, they're going to have this kind of layout, this like box layout. So what you want to do whenever you're designing a course and you want to design it that it's suitable for the best horses, once you know what the best horses are, then you want to pay close attention to how you set this up. So for example, whenever you go to do this, right, if I click on this first one, it tells me that's going to give a difficulty to my course of 214%, okay? Now for trail, that is dressage, okay? So if we just go back here, okay, and we look at trail. So difficulty is dressage. If we look at reining, the, the, it's gallop is the scale that you're concerned with. If it's cutting, it's stamina. If it's barrel, then it's speed, and then if it's western pleasure, then it's trot. And then if you go to look at your uh, classical, gallop race is obviously going to be gallop, a trot race is obviously going to be trot, cross country is going to be stamina, show jumping is going to be jumping, and dressage is going to be dressage. So we'll start off, um, I'll show you how to use this type of these type of box interfaces that you get with certain competition types. I'm only going to use one of them to demonstrate, but I'm going to show you what I mean. So say we wanted to set up the most complex possible difficulty for this course because the horses on the server were really high in that uh, skills. We'd first go off here and say, okay, this, this, that one gives us 214. Well, this one gives us 108, so that's a bit low. So we'll forget that one. We look at that, that's 100, 151. This one's 130, 193. 214, so that one's the same as that one. So those two are the same, okay? Then we look at this cross one, that's 193, cross pond, then 142, 37%, very low, 23, 45, 23, 40, or 76. So we might decide, right, we want this one as our first one because that's going to give us the highest difficulty. The next thing you might think, well, I'll just click that again and I'm automatically going to get to 114%. No, you're not. You're not going to get another 214%. You want to go through here and look. So this one actually gives us 402. That gives us 387. The reason for this is you could just click that, right? And there we're going to end up with 
a, diff a course difficulty of 1,511, okay? For trail on this server. Let's just have a quick look and see, actually, as to what the best courses are for skills on this server. So, actually, we need to look for for all. So, let's have a look. So, dressage, 2,350, uh, okay? So, what we just created in trail there wouldn't really be high enough. And the reason that this um, didn't just give us, you know, 2014 whole way is because these elements all work together, kind of like a jigsaw puzzle in that if you put two pieces together, okay, that are the same, you sometimes aren't going to get as much if you put two different pieces together, okay? Um, so I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this, and it's kind of like if you were to do the same movement over and over again with a horse, okay, or you were to do the same thing over and over again, generally you're going to get better at it and you're going to be able to do it more easily, right? But if you have different movements, it's harder. So... That's why if you had got them to back through an L and then done an back through an obstacle, that's harder than getting them to continue back and through an L. I hope that makes sense, but I was trying to explain it in some manner that it sort of made sense. So let's just say we put made them put on um, a raincoat. So you can see that that isn't as high as what we got with back through the obstacles, but it's a potential. So what you want to do is you literally want to go through all of these until you find one that's the right one, which is the highest. So that's going to give 508. That's going to give 493. Um, that's going to give us 613. That would probably be quite a good one. We'll see if we get anything higher than that. We did. Um, let's just keep going. Let's see if we get anything that was really, really high. Okay, so that, this one was our highest. So then we go back through them again and click again. So 787. We're looking for something higher. They're, they're 793, so we keep that in mind. Sometimes you get ones that will give you the exact same amount. And some you get higher and some you get lower. So you just want to be aware of them. Okay, so I think it was, this This was one of the ones that would give us the highest. So already we're actually almost getting to the point where we did, when we filled this all up earlier with that same one, we got to like 1,500. We're already getting reasonably close to that. We've only made, we've only put three pieces in. So the best way for me to explain it is if you just put the same movement in over and over again, it's going to be easier for your horse and rider to, to do it. So obviously the difficulty is going to be lower. But if you put in different obstacles in different ways and put it together, you can make it harder to do. So literally, as I said, you find out which is the... You go through all of these one by one and you find out which is going to give you the highest uh, percentage difficulty. Then you go along to your next one. You look through every single one and you sit and you find out what your highest next one. And then when you get to your third one and you keep doing this process until you finish that. And then you save it down here at the bottom. And once you've saved it, um, hopefully you'll have a difficult uh, course difficulty that suits the top horses on the game. And as long as you have it that they can enter, that there's a certain amount of them that can enter, your competition should run. So that's how I would do it if I'm working with the box one. Now the principle is very much the same and I'm going to show you in classical. Now I'm going to show you um, cross country and show jumping. Now just to show you, dressage is the same principle, different images, different movements, but the same thing again. And cross country and show jumping are a little bit more scary, this is the way to put it, I guess. So these actually, you have to build the course. But the principle is the same as the boxes, okay? If we clear all of this away okay we'll just remove all of that you would go through each of these until you find one that gives you the most in difficulty and you would keep doing that and keep building on and you will have to use various to the left and right because you have to stay within this okay there has to be a start and there has to be a finish 
and it can only be up to five kilometers so there is some more um like constraints with it but the principle is the same that you go and you find out what the best horses are and then you modify the course to suit that um so that is basically how you go about altering the competitions and those different types of competitions make sure you go and look at the best horses on the game and what their skills are not the genetics look at the skills okay so be looking at skills for all or skills for purebred especially if you have a competition for a specific breed of horse then you need to go in and say for example you're you had a competition for curlies you need to go in and look at the curlies for their uh, purebred skills so anyway guys i'm gonna leave it there thank you to little pixie for requesting the video i hope you'll love it